All right, y'all, it's that time of year where we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And regardless of, I know some of y'all out there, y'all about to be around a lot of family. And you about to be around some folk who live in conflict to your Christian worldview. Or some of you might be new to the faith. And this is your first big holiday celebration. And you're like, dang, I'm a believer now. And how do I navigate this? Because I don't want to get in an argument. And there's an old quote that says, don't argue with a fool or listeners will think there's two of you. And you determine not to be that dude or chick. Well, we're going to talk about it. Let's get it. My name is Jermaine and thank y'all for joining us on That Christian Fam. If growing in the faith is important to you, hit that subscribe button because over here we like to encourage, empower, and give you everyday practical Christian advice on real life situations. We drop videos whenever we drop videos. So hit that notification bell because for the first hour, we respond to comments immediately. All right, how to not ruin your witness this Christmas. In order to accomplish this, there's some things we need to avoid and some things we need to implement. Number one, avoid politics now listen if this last election didn't tell you we are in a very very divided country and guess what some of those divisions may be within your same family and friends you don't agree on everything you know that politics is a hot topic please don't bring up politics and start talking about what the country needs to do and what they don't need to do don't get into politics. Number two, avoid the urge to evangelize. You're gonna be around some folks that have different values, might view things differently than you, and even if they are Christians, they might disagree with you theologically. This ain't the time to try to fulfill the Great Commission. This is the time where you need to chill and enjoy your family. Because we all know what it's like to be around a dude that has no chill. Like they always on go. Y'all could be doing something simple like sitting down and having a nice meal, eating a hamburger or something. And they always have to drift into the lofty, God-centric things and have these deep conversations. And you like, man, if you don't just eat this hamburger, you don't want to be that dude. Just eat that macaroni and cheese and have a good time. Number three, be loving. You know there are some people there who are doing some things or have a lifestyle that you disagree with. Now is not the time to try to play the role of the Holy Ghost and convict them in their sins. Just love on them and that will drastically reduce, if not completely eliminate conflict. Because conflict is not the reason why we hurt. Ain't nobody got time for that. And who knows, just by you being loving, that might spark something in them to where they come and ask you about your faith. Old folks used to say it this way, boy, I can see better than I can hear. You ain't got to preach to everybody. Folk can see the God in you by the way you conduct yourself. If this is adding value to your life at all, hit that subscribe button and like this video. Number four, be patient and understanding. And let me tell you why you need patience. Let's look at 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 23 and 24. I ain't no journalist, but y'all know what's up. It says, don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments. <laughs> I'm sorry, gosh, they go in. Don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments because you know they produce quarrels. Because everybody got that one cousin or uncle that's gonna start popping off at the mouth. You already know cousin Keisha gonna say something ignorant or Uncle Dan likes to argue. It's like they wake up ready to bang. And I know, I know, I know, it don't seem fair. It's like all the responsibility falls on the Christian. Like we gotta take the high road all the time. And I'll be the first to tell you, yeah, sometimes I take the low road. But that is not what God is calling us to do. Let's get on to verse 24. It says, and the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but must be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful. Ooh. So if you have somebody like Cousin Keisha who just wants to come at you and wants to argue, try to redirect the conversation. Or you can say, I don't want to have this conversation. We might disagree on some things, but let's just have a good time. Anytime you have a gathering of any kind, it can always go sideways. But don't let it be because you, the Christian, chose to act a fool. Y'all have a Merry Christmas. Let's chop it up in the comments. Y'all take care.